Okay. <clears throat> so anyway, continuing our ongoing adventure, solving equations. There's two new ideas on today's problems. First, hopefully it's a little bit obvious. We now have parentheses on, on both sides of the equation. And the second, we'll get to in a little bit because I don't want to spoil the ending of this problem here. So if we start by distributing, so six, ah, let's just try that again. Six times five and six times negative eight X. That's gonna give us 30 minus uh, six times eight is 48 X equals. I would do the same thing on the right hand side. So eight times six is 48 minus eight times six again and it's 48 X. Bring this two down. Okay. So we have variables on both sides, but we notice, and here's, here's where this gets different. We have the same amount of X's on either side. So if I get rid of either of these, come on, there I go. No matter which side I pick, I'm going to have to do plus 48X, and then both of those are going to cancel out. So if I bring the rest down, I have 30 equals 2 plus 48. So there are no variables left in the equation. That's okay. This just means it's a special situation. So I'm going to finish this up. Uh, so 2 plus 48 is 50. And then we're left with 30 equals 50. But the problem here is that 30 does not equal 50. And what that tells us is that no matter what value we substitute for x, this equation will never be true. This equation should not exist because the two sides are not equal. So in this case, our answer would be no solution. So it is a problem without an answer. Uh, if you're not doing this by hand, if you have someone helping you, you might also see no solution represented by, looks like an O with a line through it. And that's just the symbol for an empty set, which just means the answer is a set of numbers that is empty, so there are no solutions, okay? But for what we're using right now, no solution is the answer we want. Okay, so that's one special case. And then if you remember this, hopefully that brings back some memories from last year. You should see what's probably going to happen on the right hand side. But we'll do it anyway. This will continue to not give me the right color when I want it to. That's okay as well. Uh, so negative 6 times x is negative 6x. Negative 6 times negative 1 is positive 6 minus 2 equals distribute on the right side. A negative 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. A negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. So again, we see we have the same number of x's on either side. So we have to add 6x to left and right. All of that cancels. We're left with 6 minus 2 equals negative 4. Wait a minute. Oh, hold on. I made a small mistake up here. So, or did I? Oh, I did make a small mistake. Okay, so negative 2 times negative 2 is not negative 4. LOL. This should be positive 4. This makes more sense now. See, nobody's perfect. Uh, so, does 6 minus 2 equal 4? Yes, it does. Is we can subtract 6 minus 2. Since 4 does in fact equal 4, this is the other situation. So now our statement is true, which means any value we pick for x, the equation will always be true. So instead of no solution, now it's all the solutions. So we call this all real numbers. there is our answer. Okay. Another way to represent all real numbers is with a very fancy looking R. If you want to draw that yourself, uh, you take a capital R, 
make it as fancy as you can. Maybe put a little, put a little twist on the end there, okay? And then you're going to add an extra line going down. And that'll give you close to a representation of how to say all real numbers uh, handwritten. Okay. But that's it. So we're still just solving equations. We got parentheses on both sides. I know these ones came out to special answers, uh, but most of the ones on the assignment for today will have a numerical answer. There are, I'll give you a hint here, one, two, four of the answers. So you should get four answers that look, say, either no solution or all real numbers. Uh, you have two answers that'll be decimals, and the rest will be integer values. So good luck. Take your time. Don't make silly mistakes. If you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, bye.